Oh, we look good. <laughs> I'm an Easter girl in an Easter world. Actually, no, what was the song I was thinking about? God damn it, I had a good song for you guys. You guys remember that song? It's like, uh, it goes, every day is a winding road. Get a little bit closer. Well, yeah, there's a rap version of that one, too. It's like, uh, every day is a winding road. It's getting closer, closer, close. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> let's go time, baby. Buckle up, boys and girls. Get your tits in a bunch. All right, <clears throat> so we got some updates. Hope you guys can hear me. Actually, you no, know I'll take these off. I've been wearing these all week. I took the whole, like, last week off. I've been on vacation. Yeah, where is my mouse right now? Where's your head? All right, so we got some updates. Hope everyone's having a happy Easter. Um, bum, bum, bum. Get some, through some comments. We'll let this build up a little bit, and then we'll get cooking. Stomp the elites, my man. What's going on? So today's video, I'm not going to actually do the call-in show today just because I'm, I'm kind of still on vacation mode. But uh, I didn't really work all week, so I feel like I kind of have to do something because, um, you know, you got to pay the bills. Um, and plus, I enjoy this. So, But this is kind of like the video I'm going to do today. Stomp the Elite is actually a Patreon member. I love all you guys. I love everyone that's here. It doesn't matter if you donate money or not. I really, that's fine. It doesn't matter to me. But today's video is going to be something more like I do in my Patreon. Um, I tried actually doing the video I'm doing I'm doing right here with you guys like five days ago, but it was just so depressing. I just couldn't even post it. I was like, I, I was like, I can't do any more depressing shit anymore. Um, so, anyways, yeah, I just got done with the vacation. I had a I actually do have family. They came to my neighborhood and they stayed at this nice resort, like four pools, three jacuzzis, the beach tits flapping around, butt cheeks breezing in the wind. It's pretty nice. Um, so I just had like a full seven days just chilling. And then I, I squeezed in some work, um, but I'm still kind of in, in that mode. And I also still have a family member in town. So I'm gonna spend some time with him tonight. But, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to clear the air. I appreciate everybody. If you're new watching this, I was pretty fucked up for like two weeks just over this whole girlfriend breakup thing. You know, me crying like a little girl. <laughs> no big deal. Um, I'm fine. I had so many of you guys reach out on Instagram. Uh, if I didn't get back to you, that's just because there's so many DMs. But um, so many kind words, and I'm fine. I'm good. Honestly, I'm totally cool. Um, but I just want, but I, I was really thinking about it. We'll start with this first, and then I'll do some some channel updates and some some big news, big news to me at least. Um, so the whole family thing, I had my aunts and my uncles come down, one of my cousins, and it's, it's kind of odd when they come down now because I'm used to my mom being there, but, you know, she's dead, so she couldn't make it. Um, my mom had a great sense of humor, so I don't think I'm just, like, joking that off. Uh, it's where I get my funny from. But uh, But that's just, like... Okay, let me put it to you this way. All right, so I'm not I'm not depressed. I'm okay. I'm good. I'll be fine. Okay, look at me. Okay, I'll be good. But the thing is, is the way I grew up, it was like the most important thing was family and friendship. That's like the most important thing and taking a hit. <sighs> Thank you, Matt. I needed that. I was so stoned last Sunday. Jesus Christ. I apologize for that. Um, but that was kind of why I was so upset because I, I finally thought I found someone who I could make a family with. It's that simple. That's why it was such a bummer for me because the, the older I get, you know, we could have those negative thoughts where it's like, it's never going to happen for me. I'm a loser, um, which is not the right way to think whatsoever. But um, I just wanted to let you guys know I'm good, and I appreciate all the support. Um, I was down and out. You know, it happens. But I, I took a mental break. I took a, took a vacation. I was beachside chilling, literally. Um, drank way too many margaritas. I'm good on drinking for quite a long time. Um, but, yeah. So I just want to let you guys know. I had a lot of people, too. This is going to be like the last time I uh, – the last time. I'll probably talk about it again. But the, this is probably going to be like one of the last times I really bring this up because I really just don't even care anymore. 
but I had a lot of you guys reach out, even friends of mine, even like just people I know, even family members. And they all were like, maybe she'll come back, you know, like maybe she just needs to realize all this stuff. And I'm sitting there kind of like, I was like, yeah, I, I would take her back. But then, but then I thought about it and I was like, I was like no, take you back. What? You know, it's kind of, it's, it's kind of just pathetic. You know, I'm not saying like, you know, true love isn't real and all that, but it's like, if she left you once, she's probably going to leave you again. Just saying, or maybe I'll leave that, you know, that's just kind of what it was, but it was kind of funny. Cause I was still like in my feelings. This was, this was great. So I go to, so I go to send her a text message. Right. And I start off with like, you know, if you wanted to, if you wanted to come back, I'd be willing, I'd be up for it. And then the message, as it went on, my mind started like realizing what I was writing. And then the, it turned in, I kept all of the paragraph and then it turned into actually, you know what? Why don't you go ahead and fuck off and fuck all of y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just hit send and I just go, well, that's that. So anyways, that's how that situation's going. And I got to say, it felt pretty good, even though I don't wish any ill will on her. Um, but yeah. So anyways, that's where that is. And I'm fine. I'm going to be good. But I had a nice beach week, super chill. Um, th this one was good, though. I wanted to talk about turning negative into positives. And then we're going to get into some channel updates and stuff. And for everybody who's new watching right now, thanks for being here. Happy Easter to you. And um. I thought of a stupid pickup line. I was like talking with this chick and I, I wanted to say it so bad. I was like, Hey, we're going to go color some Easter eggs back in my place. <laughs> Maybe have some sex. I didn't say that though. I wanted to, I thought it would have been funny, but you know, she was a total stranger. So kind of weird. Uh, so I got the dumbest joke sometimes. Um, what was it? Okay. So this dude hit me up. So I had so many of you guys reach out to me on Instagram. Like, Oh, I hope you're feeling better. You're so, you know, depressed. And I know I was down in the dumps, but like, I'm okay. I really appreciate everyone. But I thought this one was good because a lot of my videos, you know, we talk about negative stuff in society and you know, it's what we're all living with. I'm living through it too. You know? And it's like, it's shit. Um, but I thought this was good. Hold on. This, this was great. So a young kid sent me this, a uh, younger guy. So he goes, hey, Jack, I really like your videos and hope you are doing well. I was watching your new video recently, and I think they're really overly negative. He goes, which I think is fun to watch, and you bring up important topics, but it drains your soul. And he goes, I'm texting you because I don't want all the negativity to consume you, you know? It fucks up your mind. So you could do it uh, with that what you want, but be careful. Social media, that shit rots your brain and drains you. He goes, hope you feel better, bro, uh, with your ex and stuff. So that's fair, right? But I'm like way older than this kid. And I, I'm somebody who's like, I'm not afraid to look at shit for what it is. You know what I mean? And most of the times I just joke it off. But I'd rather know. You know what I mean? I'd rather know what's kind of like, oh, you can't really really know what's going down. But I'd rather look at shit for what it is and then move from there. Right? And plus drama sells. Let's be honest here. You know, if I just titled videos like Heart Stars, Horseshoes, Clovers, and Balloons, everything's perfect. You know? I mean, people might click on that just because it's odd. That's probably not a bad idea. That could be a funny thing to try. But... Um, but that's how I am. I've always done that my whole life. And, um, yeah, so just know that like, if you, that's on you, if you can't handle negative stuff, you know, like I understand it can consume you, but like, I don't live on the internet. You know what I mean? Like, like I do this for, for a job. I, I try to stay up to date on shit, but like, you know, were, were you with me last night when I was watching Ace Ventura fucking off? You know what I mean? Like, I, I like to enjoy my life. I like to have fun. You know, I don't just say take a hit for no reason. Like I like to have fun. So just say, so you know, like I'm good. Um, it, it, don't let the negativity consume you. I just like to know what's really good. So anyway, shout out to that guy. He cared a lot. Uh, YZTC. What's up, brother? How you doing? Time to get jiggy. You know it, baby. Come on now. Cats in the cradle and the silver spoon. 
Little boy, I'm a man on a moon. Um, this guy goes 4,600 subscriber. You grew so fast. Yeah, I'm super stoked on where everything is for everybody new watching. Usually we do a call in show. I put the link, I put a link in the comment section. You click it and you're able to hop in. But today I'm, I'm coming off of a, a vacation. So I'm still kind of in vacation mode. So we're going to just do like a cool little 30 minute hour live, fill you in on some stuff. Um, YZTC, did I ever say hi to you? Yeah, I did. I'm not even stoned today. Um, let's see, let's go through some comments real quick. And then I do have some stand up stuff that I'm going to be doing anybody in the South Florida area on April 6th at 7 PM. I'm only going to be doing like five minutes. Uh, it's a friend of mine's show, but it's going to be at barrel of monks brewing company upstairs. Okay. Um, it, I don't think it costs any money. I would hope not. It's a fucking like upstairs, like ghetto show. I don't think uh, it costs any money. Um, and if it does, don't worry. I'll fucking handle it. I don't think it does. But that's going to be six o'clock. No, no, seven o'clock on April 6th. Barrel Monks Brewing Company in Boca Raton, Florida. Um, I'm only going to be doing five minutes, but whoever shows up, if anybody does, uh, I'm going to be kicking it. So we can hang out, grab a drink, you know, take a couple hits. <laughs> You know, kick it. I, I like to, I'm a people's people, church steeple people. So I like to uh, hang out, take a hit. I already did, man. I'm fucking loaded, dude. Stop giving me the, st stop passing it to me, please. So yeah, anyways, Barrel of Monks Brewing Company, Boca Raton, Florida, 7 p.m., April 6th, whatever day that is. I'm not even sure. But it's going to be fun, and um, even though I'm not going to be doing too long of a set, I'm going to be hanging out. So if you guys want to chop it up, whoever shows, it's cool, man. Uh, what's up, brother? So that's cool because I'm trying to get back on my stand-up shit. It's just, I guess sometimes you get comfortable, you know, and you just don't, you know, it's kind of like you don't feel like it. But I need to get in the mood. And plus, I have a lot of free time on my hands now, hence the no girlfriend thing. So I got all the time in the world. And uh, it will be fun. Um, what's another update here? Um, so, okay. All right. So we haven't done a giveaway in a while. And I had a really good month last month, thanks to you guys. And I also work with a couple of cats. Well, one guy in particular that does nonprofit stuff. So we were chopping it up today. And we were, we were thinking about doing 500 bucks. Uh, giveaway 500 bucks. But we're going to do it a little differently. Okay. Uh, it's not going to be this Sunday, but the fall, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. Not this Sunday, next Sunday, but instead of just like picking people through Instagram and you guys messaging me, um, we're going to 500 bucks. We're going to give a hundred bucks to five different people. And, um, wait, what did that guy say? 500 bucks, five different people, but we're going to do it on the live stream. So you're going to have to call in and we'll keep it dialed down. You know, we'll do like, you know, Two minute max. Give us the story. Okay. Preferably show your face. And then I will let the comment section decide if we give them a hundred bucks. So I think that's like the best way to do it. Um, and it would be fun that way. So that's kind of my thoughts on that. And I think it would be fun. And, um, you know, I don't feel like I owe you guys. It's not like I'm trying to do some Mr. Beast shit. I'm not at all. I don't care. You'll never see a title of mine. That's like giveaway, giveaway. Like this is not how I roll. Um, I just like helping people. It's, it's fun. Like it, it feels good for me. I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's, it's a little selfish too. Not going to front. Um, so that's going to be fun. I'll keep you guys updated on that. Pro not this Sunday, next Sunday, I'll post something in a, in next Sunday. We'll talk about it. And, um, but it would be fun. I think it'd be a good time. And then that way it's kind of like you guys can judge the people and be like, they're full of shit. Give it to them, you know, drop, kick them through the screen. All right. This guy goes, can't afford to go out or anything. So thanks for the entertainment, Jack. Yeah, of course, man. I appreciate it. That's kind of sad though. I'm sorry about that. The working man, my boy, what's up, brother? How you doing? If I was doing the regular Colin show, I'd let you guys all hop on, but you know, we're just doing some update stuff today. All right, let me see. Bum, bum, bum. Wait, what does this person say? Uh, quick call. Okay, I don't know what they're saying. All right. The journey continues. It sure does. He goes, hey, man, been watching you for about a month now. Algo uh, found you through Board and Arrow. 
you've got more than a little Christian Slater in you, which I say is a compliment. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate that. I'll take it. I'll take whatever I can get. All right. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Let's see. I see a lot of you in here, man. You know, I got a lot of regulars. Oh, Jim Berg. What's up, Jim? Jim Sinatti. OF. Chill out, man. That's funny. Uh, bum, 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 pro. Um, pros and cons of having a YouTube channel. Well, the pro is um, they get to meet a lot of good people, like all of you. <laughs> um, make pretty good money. Um, I can give away money because I'm meeting people who want to give away money. That's fun. Uh, I don't have to work seven days a week anymore, so that's spectacular. Uh, that's so nice. I got to tell you, it is awesome. Anybody working seven days right now, I fucking feel your pain. Um, the downside is not everyone's going to like it. Yeah. You know, even your girlfriend, your family, you know, people are going to have, um, <clears throat> you know, when you meet a stranger, it's kind of like, you don't really know what they do. You don't really know who they are, but like, but when you see somebody in the uh, on like on this and you don't like them, you see them out in public, you already have like this perception of them. You know what I mean? So that's kind of the the one downside. But uh, but to be real with you, I'm kind of used to it. I grew up grew up skateboarding, like amateur skateboarder, and I was always like lower tier skateboarder because I wasn't so there's a, in skateboarding they call it core, core skater, skater die. Okay. And if you're not that, don't get me wrong. I've, I've made through, but the, there's like the cool guy skaters though, where it's like, if you're not sponsored by the right people. You're not, you know, you don't jump down the biggest shit. You're not friends with, you know, the coolest pros. Um, there's a lot of shit talking. So I've, I've already kind of been, you know, as in magazines, a lot of videos before YouTube, a lot of YouTube videos, but like hard copy disc videos back when that was a thing. I was on a lot of those. Um, so it's kind of like kind of known a little bit and people have can get a perception of you. So I'm already kind of used to that. But if you're not used to that, that could really kind of fuck you up, man. It really can. Like you really got to have um, like this guy here. You really got to have some butt cheeks clapping. You just really do. I'm just kidding. You you gotta have tight tight butt cheeks, thick skin, thick butts, thick thick ass. To to that's kind of the downside. And you're always having you're always kind of on like having to be on all the time. You're always like, I hope they like my next video. You know what I mean? So, uh, Turtle Three Thousand. I think he just became a Patreon member, man. I love you so much. Um. Okay, hold on. I'm missing some stuff here. Uh, bop, bop, bop. John Mick, my man, <laughs> the clothes off. All right. We got two bucks from the dusty crab. I subbed to Patreon, by the way. Uh, have you been uploading? Yeah. I took like the last two weeks. I've been fucked up. I I'm good now. I'm much better, but uh, I took like the last week off. So I haven't done shit. I attempted to film a Patreon video. I really did, but it was like super depressing. Like I, I was like, delete. <laughs> it's, it was like, this is getting a bit much like chill the fuck out. Just don't post anything till you feel better. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Um, but yes, I put a lot of behind the scenes stuff on Patreon, kind of like how we're talking now, but I keep it dialed down. We don't just go for an hour, you know, I like keep it dialed in. All right, let's see. Hold on. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, God, I'm, I feel like I'm just missing a bunch of you guys right now. I just feel shitty. You know, you guys are such good supporters. What's up, Lily? How you doing? I'm not seeing you all up in the comments. Uh, DJ, what's up? What's up, shouty? Hey, shouty, what's up, girl? Okay. Shit, baby, I see you. <laughs> all right, that was weird. I like to get weird sometimes, you know? Don't take shit too seriously. Okay. We got 10 bucks from Charles Freeman from downtown. Sir Charles. 
Thank you, man. Appreciate that. He goes, Hey Jack, I'm a fan of your content, trying to grow my own channel. Congrats on the success. Yeah. Uh, just be prepared. It's like anything else. It might take you years. It did for me. There was a point in time where I had none of this. A thousand people watching in the live stream right now. I want you to think about that. Right? Yeah. It took forever. There, there used to be a point in time where there was zero comments, zero anything, like 10 views, no comments, one dislike, literally. That happened. Yeah. I know. So be prepared for that. Um, and usually, like, people have this weird perception. And I think this happens for actual people, too, just normal people who don't want to be YouTubers or anything. You get judged by your follower count on like Instagram. Yeah. So that's something too you kind of got to deal with. Um, getting through that because, you know, a lot of people, they look, they don't listen. I'm guilty too. I don't want to say I, I, I don't. We all do it. We don't mean to. Uh, but I just listen more than I look now. That's just kind of the only difference. But they look before they listen and they already made up their mind. So you got to be prepared for that. What's up, Mojo Dojo? How you doing, man? Five dollars from downtown, my boy Josh, my man. Um, so yeah, that's but that's like anything. Like when I did my resale business, it took me two years just to go. I got it. I figured it out. I can make money now. <laughs> so you know, not that I didn't make any money. It's just you have to, you got to build it up, and so every time you make a profit, you're just putting it back in, and then eventually you reach a point where you're like. You could throw money at it, but you're always profiting and you just, and so it's kind of the same way with YouTube. It's like, it gets to a point where all those videos you did start to pay off. Um, but it might take you a long time, but that's like any business. That's like anything for the most part. What's up, Mario? How you doing, brother? Hey, I'm doing much better, man. Oh, you think you could beat me in a game of skate? Really? <laughs> okay. Pass whatever you're smoking, bro, because you are out of your mind. I'm just kidding. He might be able to. Hope you could switch tray really well. Switch heel flip. Switch backside flip. Any of those? That's what I thought. I'm just kidding. Uh, RC Wolfie with the 50 big ones from downtown. Um, uh, you feel better when you do another giveaway. Yes, I will. And uh, you know what? I don't want to blow the lid on this, but this is the guy. This is one of the guys that's been giving you guys money. Go ahead and thank him in the comment section. I'm not going to give you his real name because he hasn't given me the go ahead for that. But, um, but yes, that's the culprit. I'm sorry, Richard, but that's, that's how it goes. I gotta, I gotta do that to you. My bad. You know, that's what you get for being a good person. But we were actually discussing that, like the selfishness behind like giving to people. It's like kind of, it's like we want to help people, but we also kind of want to make ourselves feel better. It's kind of weird. Like the first time I experienced it, this is kind of crazy. I was like 19 and um, I was doing pretty well, selling a lot of weight, <laughs> you know, working at Domino's. No, I'm just, actually, I was, wait, I was a waiter at the time. That was my first waiting job. Domino's was 16 and 17. But um, I was doing pretty well. And I remember I went to this dude's birthday party and I barely knew the guy. His name was Skyler. I'll never forget. So I get to this birthday party, I get there a little late. It's popping, jumping house party. I mean, it's cracking off. Honey's everywhere. And uh, I was late. I show up and he's like, oh, what's up? And I, was, uh, and I just pulled out, boom, 20 big ones. Just gave him 20 bucks. And he was like kind of shocked. And all of a sudden he just gives me this big hug. And I was like, oh, it's okay, man. I just like wanted to give you a gift. You know, it's your birthday. And uh, homie almost like cried. He was like, he goes, you know, not one of my friends gave me a gift. And I said, that's awesome, dude. You have tremendous friends. So you should be proud of that. Uh, true story, man. Anyways, RC Wolfie, everybody. You could thank him. Uh, we got another five bucks from Dig Deeper TV. He goes, not letting people call in is awesome, actually. I'm here for Jack MF Morgan. You know what's hilarious? I haven't heard that in so long. But I used to get Jack motherfucking Morgan so much when I was younger from skateboarding. It actually kind of got annoying. I'm not annoyed at all. But it got to the point where I was like, 
it was like, chill out. You know what I mean? I, I work at a restaurant, like settle down a little bit. You know, like we have like kind of that negative, um, you know, we could kind of look at ourselves sometimes like I'm not worth it or I'm not that, you know, anyways, thanks for the five bucks. appreciate that. Um, wow, wow, wow. Lord of pies. What a name. Because I would die doing stand up if people didn't laugh. Yeah, that's like, that's rough shit. Um, there's like a, okay, so in stand up, this is fucked up. <laughs> By the way, all the new people watching, if you're in the South Florida area, uh, I will be in Boca Raton, Florida on April 6th, 7 p.m. at the Barrel Monks Brewing Company. It's absolutely free. Okay, it's going to be upstairs. I'm only going to be doing five minutes. I'll leave all this in the description. I'll probably post something on Instagram about it. But um, I'm only going to be doing five minutes. But after the show, I'm going to be chilling out, shaking hands, kissing babies, slapping some ass. All right? Have a brewski. Take a couple hits. You know, little, uh, you know, like I wouldn't mind meeting some of you guys. So just a heads up. But there is this thing in stand-up. Um, I've always wanted to do this. I haven't done it yet, but I, because you don't want to be rude, but like when someone goes up on stage and they bomb, which means no one left, um, which does happen and it sucks. It's not fun. Worst feeling ever. It really is soul crushing when that happens. I uh, had it happen to me. So, uh, but <laughs> I've always wanted to go on stage, like right after somebody bombs but, and I just wanted to go and just go. Just want you guys to know I'm not getting paid for this tonight. And that guy that was just ahead of me, he's definitely not getting paid. Da da dang loser. I'm just kidding. Um, we could start calling comedy clubs, asking them. Now, nah, you know what? I'm not gonna book a real show until I'm fully ready. Like, I gotta be able to bring you guys the goods. I'm not gonna give you some half ass bullshit. Like, I'm just not. Uh, are you gonna record your comedy set every time? Yes, I am, but every time I try and record it. It just comes out like shit. I can't figure out the audio. Um, I might just start hiring somebody to do it for me. Um, I just don't want to post shitty stuff. I've, I posted enough of that. Um, you already heard me about when I used to get 10 views. And you know, the big joke was 18 likes. That was a big joke between me and my boy Taco. But yeah, the stand-up show will be free. Barrel of Monks, Boca Raton, Florida, 7 p.m. on April 6th. Uh, bum, 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 bum. All right, let's keep it, keep this moving. Uh, this guy goes, great channel. Count yourself lucky. You experienced a real cool thing with her. If it hurts, then you know it was good. Uh, now move forward. Never go back. Cherish the experience. Yeah, man, of course. I wish I wish my ex-girlfriend no ill will whatsoever. You know? As much as I would like to tell her and her family to politely fuck off that way, I actually don't mean it. You know what I mean? I really don't. Um, it's just kind of one of those things where, you know, it's kind of like, fuck off. <laughs> but not in like a mean way. I know it sounds ridiculous. I know. I'm just bitter. It's all good. It's cool. We got two bucks. He goes, what's, what's your, what are your thoughts on Canada? It's warm. It's nice. It's really cheap to live in. Taxes are low. Extremely low. Um, uh, maple syrup, hockey, uh, don't forget ice skating. I don't know. I heard Canada's pretty fucked, man. I, I don't know. I feel bad for, for Canadians. Uh, we got five bucks from my crypto. That was really racist. My bad. Go shout out to the guy that sent the chat that said he can't afford to go out because that just made me realize that I'm in the same boat. And you just gave me $5. You should definitely call in, not next Sunday, but the Sunday before, and I could repay you the favor. Thank you very much. Let's see. He goes, you were pretty good. Uh, who sponsored you, Baker? No, I got this, like, shop. They call it Shop Flow because I was sponsored by a skate shop. So I'd get, like, Zoo York Boards, which was a New York company. Um, I got those for a while. I'd get hooked up here and there, but, like, never – I just got my first – uh, skateboarding box. We call it a box, uh, where a company sends you like two boards, wheels, shirts. It's just a giant box of free shit. I just got my first box at 34 years old. I know. I know. And it's because I talk, not even because of the skateboarding. That's the funniest part. Yeah. Shout out girl skateboards. <laughs> Seriously. 
my boy Paul, good man. But no, I wish Baker is awesome. But uh, girl, but the company he sent me from was Girl, um, and they're like legendary brand, Girl Skateboards. Um, and thank you for the donation, uh, Joseph Waver, my man. What's up, brother? Happy Easter, dude. All right, we got another five dollars from Marcus Holt. Thank you, Marcus. He goes, "You are pretty good, Jack. It's about connections and if you can sell yourself, especially nowadays." Yeah, yeah, just out here slanging his dick. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, you know, what's this guy? Sell yourself, boomer looking ass. I don't know what that means. Someone's not having a good Easter. Uh, bum, 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 wow, wow, wow. All right. What else did what else did I have in the title of this? I wanted to give you guys some more updates. Oh, that's right. Okay, so I've had so many of you guys tell me to make merch, and uh, I really wanted to do a cup, not this color. This was a gift. I wouldn't have picked this color. Um, thank you to my brother for that gift, by the way. I've been having it like three years, just ride or die with that thing. Uh, I'll probably do like a black cup, and it would probably just like, like say like buckle up or like take a hit just somewhere on the side, you know, just do like one of these insulated cups. That's what I really would like to do. Um, but I have no idea how to pull that off. So I'll probably just do like a t-shirt. Uh, but I don't really wear logos. So if I did a t-shirt, it would be like a super small, like almost like you can't even see it. Like only you would know, or somebody would have to be like right here. Like what, you know, maybe have it say like something like classic or like something that I usually say. Um, and I wouldn't like, charge a lot and i don't know I'm, I'm gonna like put a website up i'm not gonna do a bunch of fucking shirts though i kind of more if i do merch i kind of want to do more like hard goods where you don't have to wear it you know what i mean um so that's another thing i'm, I'm working on that uh i'm really slow at all this stuff because uh i don't know if that guy was talking shit but i'm a boomer and uh you know i'm trying to figure it all out Let's see. Boom, 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 wow, wow, wow. Uh, 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 uh. What does this guy say? I've been watching when you had a duct taped microphone. Oh, you must have been watching for a long time. Much love, dude. I don't remember that. Oh, I did have a duct tape microphone. Wow. My guy. All right, here we go. I love your channel. Uh, my husband thinks you're a celebrity. Uh, I don't know who. Yeah, Alec Baldwin, Christian Slater, Sean Penn. Pick one, you know. Or that guy from Vampire Diaries. I get that one a lot. Uh, 20 bucks from Adrian Crook, my man. Thank you, Adrian. I appreciate that. Those love your car payment videos. Uh, as I think cars are the biggest scam going, you're doing God's work. Yeah, you know what? Speaking of cars, my fucking brakes cut out, like my brake line on my car, so I couldn't stop. <laughs> and of course, you know how new cars are. They don't have an e-brake, so that was fun. Um, but yeah, that was a mission, getting that bitch fucking... I got it towed, but it was like... It's pretty sketchy, man. Like Pretty scary shit. Uh, they really should bring the e-brake e back, or the handbrake. The handbrake, my bad. Um, yeah, so anyways. But I've been looking at cars... And I just made up my mind. I'm not going to buy any cars. I'm just going to fix my old school Cadillac. And I'm just going to make that a daily driver. And it's going to cost me like what? 10, 15 grand. That's better than dropping like 25,000 on an overpriced used car. Um, so I think that's what, uh, that's what I'm going to do. Fuck it. And I'm not doing it right away because it's not top priority. But uh, I'm kind of over it. And if you drive a classic car, car insurance is way cheaper. It's awesome. Seriously. At least in Florida. But thank you, Adrian. I appreciate that. <clears throat> All right. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, Wolfie is a good guy. Great guy. He's uh, he's part of the miracle, you know? All right. Recently broke up with my girl, and boy, it hurts. Yeah, the pain runs deep. Octavian. What a name. Thanks for the 10 bucks, man. I really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, it's not fun. But you know what? It's all good. The only reason I was so bummed about it was because I, I like, I guess it's a pipe dream. I, want, I just want to have like a family. That's it. And not like a, like a, like I don't expect anything to be perfect. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't expect that at all. Like shit's going to be not easy. 
Um, but that's just kind of what I want. I mean, who knows? Who knows what I want? I don't even know what I want. Yoli guacamole. What's up, girl? How you doing? Hey, sugar. Ten bucks. I really appreciate that. He goes, uh, do, a, do a pre-eclipse special next week, next Sunday. Uh, be in the middle of nowhere. Oh, is it next Sunday? Shit, I might have to check that out. Thanks for the ten bucks. Yeah, I could use a good eclipse in my life. Total eclipse of the heart. Uh, this guy goes, don't give me anything. Money has been flowing to me lately, right when I need it. It's been a miracle being uh, being I'm sick and can't work. Wow, that's good. Hey, you know, good things, good things. Yeah, we're going to do a giveaway, though, everybody who's new watching the live right now. Not this Sunday, but next Sunday. We're going to be doing 500 bucks, five different people. But you're going to have to call in. Okay? Gonna have to call in. And then these people are gonna judge you. And they're gonna pick who's gonna win. And I'm gonna send it to you right then and there. Boom. Like bang, it's sent. You know, because uh it's just gonna be easier for me. And it'd be fun that way. I, th I think. I think it'd be a good time. Uh, we got another two dollars from Crystal Love Bug. What's up, sugar? Thank you. I appreciate that. Bum mm -mm 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 -mm. bum bum. All right, we're going to get through some of these, and then we're going to wrap it up. Let's see. What else did I want to say? What else was in there? Oh, fuck. What was the other update here? I'm feeling much better. Thanks for everybody that's reached out. I'm fine. I'm good. I'm not depressed. I'm going to be okay. It's all good. Uh, everything's going great for the most part. Um, majority of my life is going awesome, and I owe it all to you guys. Trying to think of what else. Another update. All right. We got $7 from Craig. Thank you, Craig. He goes, Snow Mexican here. <laughs> snow Mexican. No, that's good. That's good. I like that one. Goals to become a snowbird when I retire. Where in Florida should I buy a winter home? Mm. Depends on how your money's looking, man. Honestly. Um, I would do like Jupiter, Florida, if you like the ocean. Or like, uh, there's a lot of good spots, man. I like the East Coast personally. So like Port St. Lucie's pretty dope, cheaper. West Palm's kind of hood, unless you want to buy like near the water. Uh, I'm trying to move out of West Palm, to be honest. It's kind of just, it's kind of shit. Um, it's not all bad. I love my city, but it's, I could be realistic with it. Uh, but that'd be awesome, man. Snowbird life. I commend anybody who does that. Um, that's a hard one to pull off. You could pull that off. That's living. That's living. Uh, spend the winters down here. Summer's up north. That's the shit, man. Um, that's how you know you made it. Uh, we got Jason here. $10. He keeps, keep doing what you're doing, man. One phrase I picked up in the Navy was strength through adverse adversity, much love and respect. Never give up. Never surrender. Damn right, brother. God damn boy. I uh, really appreciate the 10 bucks. Yeah, you know what? I've been through, we've all been through our own shit. Everyone's been through some something, for sure. Like, it's all good. And we're going to keep going through stuff. And I'm looking so much forward to it. All the shit to come. I'm kidding. I also look forward to all the good things. That's just one thing I kind of also want to say. Like, when I talk about all these, like, negative things going on with the world, you know, it's like, it's like, take it in. And then, like, let's work around it. You know, that's all I'm doing. I'm just kind of like, okay. I'm like, all right, so I got to get rich. Okay, how do we do that? <laughs> you know, I know I'm kind of joking that off, but, you know, it's worth trying. Because you're too smart to compete for laughs at a bar, some variation of a live comedy show I think you'd do excellent at. Uh, it's not actually at a bar. It's upstairs. It's above a bar in a quiet room. And you go up on a stage and you tell jokes. And then to strangers, this is stand-up comedy. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Um, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. Uh, you know, I don't know. I'm going to do it. So Barrel of Monks, Boca Raton, Florida, 7 p.m., April 6th. I'll be there. If you want to come out, come on out. Uh, he goes, I'm permanently banned from the Cobra lounge for heckling a stand up So good. Wait, so you heckled him so good that you're banned. That's awesome. Now that's, that's good. Oh, thank you, DJ. We got 50 big ones. 
giving to someone else that needs it is awesome. Yeah, of course. And we're going to, we're going to get down. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. The gift that keeps on giving, you know? So also we're going to start wrapping this up. Thank you so much, DJ, for the fit. everyone that's donated, everyone that's just here. Um, I'm just super grateful. I don't want you guys to think I'm not grateful for that. I wake up every morning and look in the mirror and I go, yeah, yeah. I actually don't do that, but I am like, I do think about it sometimes. I just, I'll like forget that this is even a thing for like a part of the day when I just like go blank and just like live my life. And then I'll look at my YouTube and I just go, wow. I just, I just can't believe it some days. I really, I really fucking can't. Uh, seriously, I appreciate everybody being here. We're going we're gonna to wind this down here. He, Turtle3000 goes, dude, you're way better skater than me. Actually, yeah, I know that because there's a, the probability of me being better than you at skateboarding is very high. And I'm not saying that as a cocky thing. Um, it's just more of I've skated for over 20 years. And the amount of, the amount of places I've been other than California... California, everyone's good. Everywhere else. It's a hard thing to get good at. People don't like eating shit. They just don't. <laughs> like, they just don't. Like, you can only eat shit on concrete so many times before you go, I don't really like this that much. So that's why I say that. I just, I, I persevered everyone else. That's why. That's all. That's all it is. I'm not trying to like brag. It's just something that I was so dedicated at um, that I wasn't naturally good at. And I, I got good at it just by kept showing up and wanting to get good at it. All right. So we got after party at Shapes. Thanks for uh, the 10 bucks, Shape. I appreciate that, man. My boy. I'm just going to pass that back to you. Uh, boomerang money, baby. But uh, Shape's going to do a live stream. So we're going to end it here. We're going to end it up. I'm going to go through the last of these comments. But he's going to he started his own call-in show. Um, I told him I think it's smart because I do one and a lot of fun. So he's going to start that up. I don't know what time he's starting. Probably 738. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to hang out in the comments. I mean, I got, I got, I'm going to be hanging out with my friend, but I'm, I'm going to pop in for a little bit. I probably won't pop on screen, but I'll be up in the comment section. Heckling shape, heckling the fuck out of him. Uh, but yeah, so shapes doing a call and show. You might like them. You might not. But, you know, it's fun. I, I like it. I like the call-in show setup. That's kind of my prediction. I told Shape, I said, watch. I said, motherfuckers is going to start doing this. I guarantee it. And I'm not saying I started this. I'm just saying it's a it's a good idea. It's fun. Uh, Jack, love the work. Thank you, uh, Rigo, Rigoberto. What a name. Porta Viara. It was first time tuning into a Sunday live stream. Yeah, we usually do a call-in show, uh, Garcia, but... Today, I'm just, I'm in vacation mode. I just wanted to pop on, give you guys some updates. Uh, but we'll be back next Sunday. Usual stuff. Anybody who's wondering, I just put in a link in the chat. You click it, you hop on the screen. It's that easy. Oh, come on, Saquon. Thanks for the five bucks. He goes, got hit by a car yesterday. Would like to tell you the story. Jesus Christ. Fuck. Tell us next Sunday. We're looking forward to that. All right. Last messages here. We're going to wind this up. I really appreciate everybody watching. Thanks for the two bucks. You're winning. Thank you, man. I'm on my Charlie Sheen, my Charlie Sheen shit. You know what I'm saying? I uh, love the channel. I appreciate you, Griffin, dude. Appreciate you. Preach, preach, chicken screech. All right. We're going to get through this. I'm, I think, I think I've said enough. Uh, and also, like I said, April 6th, 7 PM barrel of monks. I'm going to be doing some stand up. I'm only going to be doing like five, five minutes, but I'm going to be hanging out afterwards and we could chop it up, kick it old school. Like, you know what I mean? Get real acquainted. Like, you know, you know what I mean? RC Wolfie with another two bucks. He's you're really overdoing yourself. Email newsletter. Yeah. You know, I'm going to set up a website soon. I'm going to get that up. It might take me a little, little bit to figure it out, but you know, uh, just why not? Fuck it. You know? Daniel Osborne with the $10. Good vibes. Good luck to you, bro. Hey, God bless you too, man. I appreciate the 10 bucks, dude. I really do. Appreciate everybody being here. Another five bucks from Botcat. Appreciate that, man. Much, much, much love. Seriously. God, I'm just getting overwhelmed here. I just came on to update you guys. You just keep just throwing money at me. I'm like, geez, this is, this is actually good because I probably spent a good like 200 bucks on margaritas this weekend. 
it was like 20 bucks a drink at this resort. I didn't drink that much. I'm, I'm kind of a lightweight with alcohol, by the way. He goes, uh, 10 bucks from Vice Versa, uh, Vice Vestra. He goes, hey, man, I love your show, especially the car payment series. I'm currently a video editor and content creator for a larger channel. Sent an email regarding this. Keep up the good work. Uh, I don't know what email you sent it to, but go ahead and hit me up on Instagram. DM me there. Uh, maybe I can use you, you know, maybe for some short form stuff. Definitely check you out. I'm always up for that. People helping people. All right. Last one. Golden Ace 21. Make a video about the San Fentanyl City. Sorry. Oh, S San Francisco City. Okay. Do you want me to make a video about a city or fentanyl? I'm not going to get mad at you. Thanks for the two bucks. Anyways, hell of a talk, guys. I appreciate everybody being here. Seriously. I see you. I see you, brother. He goes, y'all have a good night. Hey, man, I appreciate everyone being here. Invasion Hunter. I see all you guys, man. It's just hard to say hi to everybody, but I see you. I recognize you. Donatello slap a fellow, man. My man. My man. Yeah. Yeah, man. When the stork dropped me off at my mom's house, Easter Bunny was there, man. He's legit. Anyways, hell of a talk, guys. And next week, we'll continue the regular shenanigans. I'm back on my job. And, uh, you know, I'm sorry for being so depressed, uh, so depressing. Um, it happens though, but unfortunately my job is to be here. So what am I going to do? Lie to you. You guys are going to know something's up. You're going to be like, something's off with this guy. You know, I'd rather just tell you about it. Anyways, hell of a talk. God, you know, I'm just getting geeked out. I'm going to go fucking actually, I, I don't even think I can handle smoking weed tonight. I, I after that Sunday night smoke session, I was like. <laughs> wow 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 help hell of a talk guys good shit happy easter